it's Jane from the Salty Tribe Company. Today I'm going to show you um, my Petite Crown cloth diaper haul and a little bit more about them and then kind of show you just a couple comparisons on what we're using inside for our newborn which is due, she's due in uh, May. And I have a little helper here. I don't usually film with a toddler near me but um, he's going to be taking a nap afterwards. So um, yeah, so let's just uh, get I into it. I haven't seen these yet. I kind of wanted to do like an unboxing. Um, of these petite crown cloth diapers and then later like when I film tomorrow part of this video the next part of this video will be like a more in-depth look at each one. Oh yay I'm so excited I'm gonna read that little handwritten note in just a minute I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm, I'm not sure how much excitement is like <laughs> normal for cloth diapers but I'm super excited okay I love this color oh these are soft this is the newborn size, six to 18 pounds. Um, this baby's gonna be born early because it's my sixth C-section. Um, so we buy preemie clothes and, and stuff for our little babies because they're usually pretty small. So newborn, let's see what else. This is the blueberry. This is so cute. I love this print. That is so pretty. Oh, I love this blush color. This is our first girl in like 15 years. <laughs> so my my teenage daughters are so excited about pink. So I will be cloth diapering three children. Uh, one that is potty training soon. Um, he's So I have three under three. My three youngest are three under three. So I got some newborn diapers, but then I got some one size keepers. And actually, I don't remember what else I got. So we'll see. I love this print so much. Look at how beautiful this is with the little bees and the flowers. I love bees and florals so much. Oh my gosh, I love this. So that's four newborn so far. What is this one? Newborn also. I love this. I love this neutral rainbow print. So pretty. This one is one size catcher. So this goes from 10 to 40 pounds. So this is for my toddlers. And I think I did where I got like two black ones for like my older toddler. Um, and I think I did two like of the blue mint colored ones for my next toddler who is almost a year and a half. These are such good quality. They feel really nice. Okay. This is the uh, one size also catcher. Love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. And this is the same size, the catcher, 10 to 40 pounds. Let's see. Then I got the one size keeper, so eight to 35 pounds. And I do want to try this on a newborn to see like how these fit once um, she's big enough to fit in them. I love this print so much. Look how pretty. I'm trying not to squeal. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at this like Hawaiian <laughs> print. I love this so much. I knew I was going to get two of those. When I saw that print, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting two of these. And this is also a, um, the Keeper one size. The Keeper one size. I think this is the, is this one blush? I can't remember. And let's see, I got one of these Paca. This is a pocket diaper. Um, I usually like covers and flats. That's my thing, that's my jam. Um, I love these crossover snaps. But well, I'll show, when I go in depth, I'll like show the inside of this. 
but this is a pocket diaper with an insert. I think it's, is it a hemp? We'll find out when I, when I dive deeper into these. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, she sent these. Oh, I am so excited to try these out. Yes, I love a flat. I have pre-folds too, I do use them. Ooh, these are soft. Are these the washcloths? She sent extra stuff, what, what, what? I can't wait. This is so, oh my gosh, this is so soft. Let's see. There's other like inserts here. I know I ordered these for the toddlers. I wanted to try these out. These are, I think it's these ones. Or these ones, I don't know which one. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to, um, when I look at everything that I ordered, then I can figure out what's what. This was soft, very, very soft. All right, so I'm gonna learn more about everything and then dive in and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so you've already seen the unboxing and my initial like awe of all these beautiful prints from Petite Crown. And here's where you can find them on Instagram and their hashtag so you can see other people that are using these awesome diapers. So um, I have some notes here and I'm kind of just gonna show you the different size uh, ranges basically. So, okay. Also, this is not sponsored. I paid for these. Um, she did send a few extras. It was very sweet of Mari. Um, I hope her name, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Um, so first I'm gonna show you the newborn ones that we got and I've already like snapped like this down to the smallest setting, uh, one uh, newborn size. So it fits from six to 18 pounds. We uh, generally have tiny babies. I've only had one that was over eight pounds. Um, I had a preemie who was five pounds. This one, uh, this is my six C-section, six C-section, so she'll be born early. So I just wanna show you how small that gets in the waist. And this is snapped. There's a, you know, you can snap here, you can snap to there, and then you can leave it open. And I feel like this is gonna last us like way longer than any of my other newborn diapers. We usually use um, all-in-ones for the newborn stage. Um, because our cloth diapering style is, it needs to be simple. <laughs> uh, my favorites are covers and flats, but uh, for the newborn stage, I'll show you what we use on the inside of these usually. So I love this cover. So that's the smallest size setting of the newborn. And this is the largest size setting on a newborn. Like look, if I hold this up to it, like that is gonna last you quite a while. At least for us, at least for her babies. I know every baby's different, so it might not last you a long time. It might last you a long time. So 18 pounds for us is usually somewhere around six to nine months. Like it might even last us to the <laughs> to 10 months. So that's that's quite I think that's a lot, that's a lot of use out of newborn covers. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. That's an excellent weight range for a newborn cover, especially with how tiny it gets. So, and look how tiny the leg hole is. I love the double gusset. I'm gonna open this up to show you the inside. Mama. Yes, I know, that's baby brother. Hold on. So here's the inside. So you can see the size. And what we usually use are fitteds, especially since they sleep a lot. <laughs> These are the um, e Eco Posh by the people who do the um, Rumperoos. So that's how that fits in there. So just like that. And we also have these workhorse fitteds. We have some that are with the snaps like this. So that's how that fits. And I love I love the elastic here. That helps like to me like keep everything in and under that umbilical cord. Because it doesn't have an umbilical cord snap down, but I'm gonna show when she's born, I'll show how all these fit on a newborn so you can kind of see. 
we also have these, the ones that you, that don't have um, uh, snaps. Let me just use one of these snappies here, or the Boingo, and do it right in the center. We use these, in the newborn size, we just use one Boingo, or we have a diaper pins. So, so it fits the same way. This is the newborn size, I think. So, um, she did send these infant prefolds. Uh, I think this is a newborn one. Newborn prefold. Um, this is, hasn't been prepped and washed, so this will shrink uh, a little bit. So, um, I will definitely try that. We do use. I don't usually use prefolds. I like flats, but I do use them for the newborn size because I don't like using flats um, for newborn. This is one from. I think Green Green Mountain Diapers. Yeah, it's a cloth face. So um, this is a newborn size, and we, we'd use that, or we'd do that little fold like this, like that. So that's one way we use them, or we pad fold them. And then we do have like an organic muslin, like newborn. Flats are these like half flats. This is um, one that we've used with one of our uh, children so far. And I just, I don't pad fold them because it's really bulky that way. So we generally like it pretty trim. The newborn size, and it does have um, some size options. So it's not limited, you know, to just only newborn size. Like when you get sized newborn, uh, like all in ones, which we do have and we do use a bunch of them. So uh, I'm not against them. I just, I love that this is going to give us some. Uh, long, longer term use past the newborn, like the initial baby, baby newborn stage. So that's fantastic. Okay, and I just want to show you the prints. So we got one, two, three, four, five newborn covers. I'm so excited to use these. <laughs> so, can you stick those away? One now. The next size that we got are these um, one size keepers, and these cover eight to 35 pounds. I love this Hawaiian print with the plenary flowers, so pretty. So I sized this one down. Let me just. So this, when, when you get to the one size, it has two snaps here, which I love. Um, and I sized this one down to the smallest. This is using the crossover snap. So I wanted to compare this. Let me snap this one. It's like the waist on this one and the smallest waist you can get on this one are almost the same. Almost. This one is maybe like, maybe like a centimeter. So this says it starts at, what was it, eight pounds for this one? And this starts at six pounds for this one. I think you could get by, especially for a seven pound baby, if you wanted to do these. But again, these have like a good range. So if you didn't, if you wanted something, I guess, less bulky on a newborn, probably this one. Um, but if you, you know, were on a budget and could only get uh, one size diapers, you know, you could use the diapers they give you for free in the hospital and then move to these once your baby is weighing enough. Thank you, baby. So yeah, that's the smallest it goes to with the crossover snaps. I like crossover snaps. Um, for, um, usually I don't end up using them for a tiny waist, even though our babies generally have tiny waist. I usually use them if I'm like on the go and I'm trying to like wrap up a dirty diaper and I like that crossover snap for that. So I just want to show you the leg holes too on the smallest size setting on the one size. And it's very similar to this. This is definitely going to be, um, a tighter fit. If you have a really tiny baby or a preemie, like our baby's going to be born early. So we'll just have to see, but I'm excited. So that is the smallest size. And then I did this one to the largest setting that you could do. So the waist on this is like cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to this size. I really do love the double guessing. That's awesome. And it does have the crossover snaps. So I'm going to show you these on both my toddlers. Um, my eldest, that'll be in cloth diapers. He's um, 
He'll be three in July, so we're gonna be working on potty training soon. Um, but until then, we'll be using these um, for him. But he's 33 pounds, and this goes up to 35. So I just wanna show what this will look like. So we got those two. Oh, I guess I could show you also like the largest. So between the keeper one size and the newborn, largest setting. This one is a two by three here on the newborn. And this one has the two waist and then it's a three by four. I love the three by four rise setting because you can get it really tiny like I showed you and you can get it, you know, large. I just love those size range on these. So. And this print and the size we got the Hawaiian print, this neutral rainbow, another Hawaiian print because I knew I was gonna love that. This bee garden one, I love that one so much. This misty rose and this blush. Okay, so this one is the keeper one size. It goes up to 35 pounds. And again, he's 33 pounds. And he actually still has two snaps on both sides. So like, he just has a tiny waist. But so this is fully unsnapped in the rise. Turn around, buddy. Can you turn around? And I just also did the, <laughs> thank you. He did the, I did the pad fold in this too. Turn around. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and I love, I do love this here so um he actually has space in both of these so he can definitely use the one size and the catcher and i probably do need to snap down at least one rise maybe possibly in this one because it was definitely he, it's very roomy this is a very roomy cover it's gonna last you all the way through potty training especially if you have a bigger kid so um this fits great, that great. Would, yeah great All right, and this is the keeper one size that goes up to 35 pounds. And again, I have him on the middle uh, snap and I stagger the waist snaps to fit him nice and comfy and there's plenty of room. And again, it's just a pad fold organic muslin flat with a DIY fleece liner. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the catcher, which is like their bigger cloth diaper, definitely for uh, toddlers or even bigger babies. Um, I was, when I was born, I was over nine pounds. So that's probably, if I'm, my mom did cloth diaper me, but like this probably would have been a size for me, honestly. I was such a chunky monkey. So I just want to show you the smallest size setting on this compared to the one size. So the catcher, sorry, the catcher goes from 10 to 40 pounds. So that's, I got them for my toddler mainly. I'm not planning on using those in, um, once my newborn hits 10 pounds, but I will show you what they look like on her anyways when she hits that weight. Okay. So that is the smallest setting here and the largest setting for 40 pounds would be like so. Love this color. You can see the range. So you're getting from this size to this size with the catcher. This fabric feels so nice. It's so nice. So this, um, the catcher does not have the crossover snaps, which is fine. I don't care. <laughs> um, either way, it has the two waist adjustable and it is three by four snaps here, which again gives you great sizability range. And I got two of the black ones and two of the, this mint blue color. So I'm gonna show these on our two toddlers and I'll put their weight and height in there as well.
So trying this on my two-year-old. Um, this is just a Green Mountain diaper um, muslin organic flat that I just pad folded and then one of our uh, liners, fleece liners that I made. So I'm going to try that on him so you can see what it looks like and it's uh, fully unsnapped. Okay, so that is the one size catcher. This is the one that goes up to 40 pounds and he still has uh, definitely plenty of room in the waist and he's still, I think it's like two snaps. Yeah, he's got two snaps in the waist left and it's definitely very roomy. I think I could probably even take up a rise um, setting here because it is looser, but it, it fits great. So that's awesome. You like it? He like it. Yep, diaper. He has a speech delay, so. All right, and this is the catcher, and he's in the medium setting there, and he's got little, he's got chunky thighs. So we staggered the snaps for the waist. <laughs> he's being super cooperative. Okay, and this has just a one size muslin flat pad folded and a fleece DIY yeah. liner. <laughs> you done? I also did get uh, an, a, get a packa. It's a one size packa. It is from eight to 35 pounds. And um, I don't usually use packa diapers. Um, I'm a flats and covers girl. That's my jam. That's my bread and butter. So, but I wanted to show you what it looks like if you're into pocket diapers. Um, I have used them, I do have them in my stash, but I generally end up using the pocket diapers as um, covers. But I really loved this belly band here because I have some that have like this type of material, but it goes all the way up. And what I found happens is like, it would kind of like bend, like my all of my boys have been belly sleepers. And when they wake up, they end up having like a wet spot across the middle of their onesie where this, where this touches because of the wicking of the urine onto their onesie, which is so gross. So um, this belly band type thing helps with that. Um, it keeps it from wicking onto their clothes. The packet is a single gusset, which is totally fine. I'll show you um, my other favorite uh, diaper covers only has a single gusset and I've never had a problem with that. And this does come with an insert Things the hemp and cotton you see. Yes, this is hemp and cotton. And these haven't been these haven't been prepped. Uh, so this is what it looks like before you wash it. And of course, I'll do an update in about a month of how we like using these. Um, I heard good things about this packa, so I thought I would try it. And I am gonna use it as a pocket. I'm gonna try it for nap time for my younger toddler and see how it goes. I do not find these difficult to stuff. Um, I have pretty big man hands, but <laughs> yeah, I don't find them difficult to stuff. Thank you, Thank you you're welcome. <laughs> so the smallest size, let me snap it down so you can see. So you can see that gets really tiny. on the leg holes. So I will also try this on our newborn to see the sizing. So you can see what it looks like on a newborn if you're considering buying this for your newborn or to put in your stash. So, and then the largest setting of course is, it does have a hip snap. Hip snaps don't bother me. I think we've only had a problem once when my toddler was older. These kind of like leave a, like a round mark impression on his skin, but you can get like little snap covers. So I'll probably just get some of those if we need them. Um, so just using like the last hip cover snap there, like obviously the largest setting would be here. And then like the last setting where you're using a hip snap would be there. good size there. So excited to try that. Okay and this one is the Paca uh, pocket diaper. He definitely, I, ha I snapped the hip but he's got like three snaps 
um, and it's still he's still got room. So this is this is great. It's very trim, very trim diaper. Okay, turn around, buddy. Can you turn around? Thank you. So it just has the um, Paca uh, insert in there, and again, it's snug, but it's not like too tight at all, and he still has room in it. And this goes up to thirty five pounds as well, and he's thirty three pounds again. So yeah, yeah you can turn around. <laughs> Thank you. Is this comfy? Yeah. Do you like that one? Yep. Diaper. No, we'll take it off in a minute. Hold on. So, um, yeah, we're going to try these out. I have to prep the insert so he can't use that one right now. All right. This is my 16 month old um, in the PACA. That's the pocket diaper. <laughs> He's like, put that down, mom. What are you doing? Um, he weighs 23 pounds and he is on the like the middle of the three the small medium large he's on the medium and he's got that much snaps open i'm not sure how many snaps i went but turn around buddy can you turn around he's like no what are you doing there we go there we go <laughs> all right that looks good it's really trim let's try like snapping this real quick and see Whoop. <laughs> He won't let me. He's like, what are we doing? Okay, well, it'll snap just fine. <laughs> it's trim. I did order two of these. And again, this is not prepped yet. These are some boosters I wanted to use. So this is, um, the top layer is 100% polyester. Bottom is four layers, hemp and cotton. And this, this is so soft. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to try this. So I'm gonna try this with our flats for our toddlers for overnight and see how this goes. We've had, we struggled with the um, overnight diapers. We would come to solution, it would work for a while and then it wouldn't work anymore. So we're gonna try this. Um, I mean, worst case, we're, we'll just use the, the disposables at night and continue to use uh, and just use cloth during the day. So I got two of those, one for each of the boys to try. And then I also got these. And these are hemp and cotton. So they're like these are like the PACA inserts. Okay, that's what they they are. The ones that are in here. So I thought I could also try these out for nap time um, or bedtime and see just see how it goes with our flats and just kind of add it in. I don't have our like one size muslin flats, but she did some. Let's see here it is. Her uh, organic muslin flat. I am so excited. I love this. Like I love muslin flats. It's my favorite, favorite absorbent material for diapers. So um, this is what it looks like before you wash it. And I'm sure it looks similar to this when it's washed, but I will show you after I have them all prepped. So excited to try that. And she also sent this uh, prefold small so this is again unprepped. Um, so it gets all like soft and crinkly. It's soft right now, but it gets even softer and crinkly when you prep them. So I will try that with baby girl. But they also, the small, smaller like things when you buy them, you know, they, they work for older kids too as like extra absorbency if you need it. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try these inserts. I've heard really good things about the absorbency of cotton and hemp, which I can't remember if I've tried yet. I've tried so many things with cloth diapering, but um, I'm very excited to try these out. So I will be back in a month to show you how that worked for the toddlers for nighttime, nap time, and then just, you know, just daytime usage. She did also send a couple of these. I said washcloths earlier. I mean, yeah, they're washcloths. You can use them like that, but lots of wipes. And these are so soft. Look at that. Look how soft that looks. So it is, this top is bamboo velour. And this is uh, Bamboo Terry. And it's so, I wanted to show you our, the cloth wipes we use are these, um, what are these? Grovia. And I just kind of show you, they're like, like the same size. So well, actually they're a little bit bigger. Let's flip it this way. It's a little bit bigger. So these haven't been washed yet. And these have been washed like a hundred million times. So that was compared to the Grovia wipe. So I'm excited to try this. This is so soft. I can't wait. That is just so nice next to your skin. Probably use this in the bath too. That would probably feel so nice against your skin. Um, I do want to show you. So these are like our, 
old, old favorites. They've been through some some life here. These are the Econobum. So like, we don't have any trouble using single leg gussets. I know um, this is a single leg gusset um, and a single snap here. So um, no worries on that. I use a single leg gusset. It, we haven't had any trouble with blowouts. We usually have trouble with blowouts with um, disposables, not with um, cloth. Um, they happen, but not as often. Let's see if there's anything else. I do, I caught, I bought like, I think one of these was a blanket and the other one is, I bought like a yard of like fleece. And we use these as liners, especially for toddlers. Like not, not so much for the newborn stage, but sometimes I have just to keep it from staining like pretty diapers. <laughs> but who happens to whatever. So um, I do use these as liners, uh, reusable liners. We do have some disposable liners too, so I would just lay this in here on that if I needed to. Um, generally, I use these on top of a flat, a pad fold flat, and I would just lay that on top. It keeps, it pulls the moisture away from their skin. Um, I probably won't use that anymore on our, um, on my older toddler because we're trying to potty train. I want him to feel that wetness so it's, so that he wants to use the bathroom in the potty. So. I think that's everything. Our little cloth wipe setup is this thing that'll be on the dresser, which hasn't arrived yet. So I just use this, um, put water and some essential oil in it, or sometimes just water and a little like soap, um, and just spray the wipes. And then we also have this cloth diaper safe diaper cream. We don't always have to use it. So, and then uh, I think I'm just gonna get like a little jar to stick in here of the little pins and clips that we use for cloth diapers. So that'll just be on the changing table. Well, the dresser, which we'll use for changing table. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them below. I will link to her shop, all the things. And I hope that was help this was helpful. I'm so excited to try these on our newborns, but um, I hope it was helpful to see what this looks like on our two toddlers. And then I'll be back in May for the newborn um, look, and I will try this, 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 and this one when she reaches 10 pounds for the newborn. So I'll do a video of fresh newborn on these and then, and maybe this one, and then try all of them on a 10 pound baby. So when she reach, reaches that weight, and then also I'll be back before then to show you how everything held up for our two toddlers. So I hope this is helpful. Again, just leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll get back to you soon as I can. Thanks. Have a great day.